In my previous video on installing a humidity sensor network with ZigBee2 MQTT and a Raspberry Pi, I got my first sensor data from these Xiaomi Akara humidity sensors in a log file. But I want to represent this data a little bit smarter and easier. And for this, I'm going to use domotics. So this is what we did last time. We had these sensors, I had five at the time, and we got our first data on the Raspberry Pi. So now we're going to install Domotics on that same Raspberry Pi, and this is fairly easy. Actually, I considered the hard part already done with Zigbee 2 MQTT. And Domotics in its documentation talks about the easy way, and we're going to use that easy way to install it. And it's basically a question of copying this command and this will start everything for you. And it's already going and it will, when it installs, it will ask you for a static IP address. It will do this for you, by the way. It's simply a matter of clicking OK. And when you click OK, it will ask you uh, which of these services you want. I chose both, both HTTP and the more secure HTTPS. This is for future plans I have. You just can keep these ports default and the installation path is actually pretty well as default as well. When it's finished, I will, it will tell you the IP address it, will, it chose for your uh, Raspberry Pi and now it's time to install the Zigbee2 MQTT plugin for Domotics and this is a pretty easy install as well we can simply go to the Domotics directory to the plugin directory and download the plugin software and we can all copy this from the documentation so copy paste and after downloading the plugin, it's a matter of stopping and starting Domotics. Now, last video, I've shown you that we created a Zigbee2 MQTT daemon, so that it also always runs in the background. Domotics already has one after installing, and you can use it to stop and start with these commands that you see here on screen. This is the stop command. And we give it a little bit of time and then we're going to start Domotics again. Now to see if that worked at all, we're going to have a look at the status. And it looks like it's running. So now on to the Demotics webpage. This is a webpage running on our own Raspberry Pi. And we need to tell Demotics that we have a Zigbee2 MQTT now available. So we choose the type, uh, which is all the way to the bottom of the list. We give it a not that imaginative name, Zigbee2 MQTT. And you can see we have a couple of other options here for the MQTT server. That is that Mosquito MQTT server that we installed last time that wasn't in the documentation. So we're pretty much done with the most of the stuff for installing the plugin. Now we have to add the hardware in the Motics. And with that, you get to see an empty dashboard, but you, there's a helpful link to the devices and there are a lot of devices. Not just devices for temperature, humidity and air pressure, but also combinations of these, which I don't recommend using because they give a pretty messy output on, on, the, on the dashboard. Uh, by the way, there are, of course, a lot of other devices, Zigbee devices you can add, not just sensors, but also light bulbs and all kinds of other stuff. So have fun with that. Maybe that's something for the future. Now we're going to add a couple of these devices. And for that, you can use the green buttons 
with the arrow to the right. And again, I recommend using single readout devices, so only humidity in this case. So we're going to add devices for five of my sensors. And now you can go to the temperature tab and then you get to see the devices and the readouts. And you see the actual value as it was last measured. There's a last seen line that tells you if you get any new data. If the data doesn't change, if the temperature or humidity doesn't change, you don't get to see anything. But you can test it. I tested it uh, by holding the uh, sensor above the spout of my teapot with hot tea. And you get a spike in humidity almost immediately. So don't worry. These sensors really update quickly if there's any change. You can also add notifications. So if you want a notification where the, when the humidity is too high, you can send, thing, send something uh, to email or there are a couple of other ways you can notify yourself like Telegram. Humidity notification for humidity higher than 70% is not very useful in the Netherlands, I found out because it's often <laughs> that you meet in the Netherlands, so that humidity check doesn't help very much. Now here you get to see the situation after about a month. Uh, so we have a month of data and you can see, look, there is the temperature. Uh, you get a nice line over a whole, almost a whole month here. So that works great. Here's the humidity, for example, in my bedroom and I found out there's actually seems to be a bit of a humidity problem. There seems to be kind of leakage from my bathroom. So I'm, I've been working on that to, to close things that might be leaks. Uh, so to solve that. So it's actually useful, this, this system. You have a lot of other stuff you can do, but actually there's one thing I had to find out, I found out later, when you go have the Zigbee plugin, uh, Domotics actually tells you what, what sensors you can add or not. So at first I had only two sensors added uh, when Domotics hadn't been installed yet. And I tried to get new data from the other three, which I thought I had paired, but I didn't get to see any new data. So you have to enable pairing in Domotics now, not in Zigbee to MQTT, not in the configuration file there. So you need to add that in Demotics. It's very frustrating if you haven't found that out yet. So there are uh, some things you can do with the names. Oh, and of course the end result that I wanted was, I wanted to see that data in an app uh, in on the iPad or in, in in, in, in the, the iPhone. And here you can see the, the output of the pilot app in iOS. And you can actually see, you can also see that humidity and temperature data. And basically that was what I was going for. And I, it works. Uh, this is what I was going for and it worked out. I'm pretty happy about that result. But of course it doesn't end here. I have more plans with that data. But you got to see that in different in other videos uh, when I have new stuff to show. So thank you for watching and have fun with your own Zigbee humidity network.